Share SAP Fiori Application Developer C underscore Fjord underscore 2404 Real Questions for Preparation 1. You develop an SAP UI5 app that updates DAT on the SAP back-end system. What activities are required when you implement an XSRF token? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Retrieve the token and send it with each write request. B. Execute the refresh method for an expired token. C. Include the token in the HTTP request body of each write request. D. Generate a token on each read and write request. Answer. A. B. 2. In a SAP Fiori Hub deployment, where is the SAP UI5 application code stored for a transactional app? ASAP Backend Server, BES. BSAP Frontend Server, FEs. CSAP HANA XS Engine. DSAP Web Dispatcher. Answer. A. 3. You are developing SAP Fiori Elements applications. Which of the following actions are available in SAP Web IDE? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Create an annotation file associated with the O data service and add annotations. B. Add catalog to user menu in a PFCG role and grant the role to user. C. Create a catalog, target mapping, and tiles. D. Choose the O data service as data provider for the project. Answer. B. C. 4. What options can you use to add UI annotations to a SAP Fiori element page? Note. There are three correct answers to this question. A. Add annotation to the annotation file present as a part of Webull DE project using annotation modeler. B. Add annotations to the underlying CDs view. C. Add annotation to the underlying database table. D. Add annotations to the manifest file present as a part of Webull DE project using the descriptor edit. E. Add annotation with the help of a metadata extension. Answer. B. C. E. 5. You need the backend server to sort and filter the data used in your customer's app. Which SAP UI5 supported data model must you use? A. O data model. B. Resource model. CJS on model. DXML model. Answer. A. 6. Why does SAP Fiori use an intent-based navigation? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Apps can be developed and deployed in parallel. B. The concrete app targets can be deployed separately. C. Interdependent targets must be deployed in a single transport request. D to support cross-app navigation. Answer. C. D. 7. Where are the themes saved for the SAP Fiori Launchpad? A. In the theme repository. B. In the theme data center. C. In the UI theme designer tool. D. In the bootstrap. Answer. A. 8. 
Which features of the SAP Business Application Studio help you extend a standard SAP Fiori app? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. A. A wizard to generate the files for each extension possibility. B. The extensibility pane to choose extension points. C. An editor to modify the data model in the extended project. D. The descriptor editor to choose elements for extension. Answer. A. B. 9. Your customer requests a special create method to enable the creation of the full OData hierarchy. Which OData service method can you use? A. Execute underscore deep underscore insert. B. Create underscore batch underscore entity. C. Create underscore stream. D. Create underscore deep underscore entity. Answer. D. 10. Which tool can you use to generate SAP UI5 coding that is based on prototypes? ASAP Build BUI Theme Designer CSAP Business Application Studio D Adobe Flash Answer A.